Week three workout, Felicia's gonna help us out here. You're gonna start with the squat. This is a great warm up. And I want your feet a little, very good. I know those legs are burning. Let's shake them out just a little bit. Now we're gonna go to the squat to reverse lunge and you're gonna turn 45 degrees right in the middle of this exercise and begin. Good, back and turn. Just a back, turn, and now I want you to switch, turn. Nice deep breaths throughout the exercise. Back and turn, side lunge, alternating with a reach to the ground, ready? and begin. Good. Last one. And hold, hold. And stretch out that leg. Make sure the heel remains. Good, that's what's gonna cause that stretch right down here. Regurate the curve of your back. Don't arch that back too much. Just use the natural arch. Burn on repetition six, seven, or eight. Continue, continue to breathe. A little wider stance. Just about shoulder width. Four more, three more. Very nice, continue to breathe. When you come up is when you exhale, back down, you inhale. Last one, and on to the overhead press with a knee lift. Take a deep breath, come on. It's nice and straight, good. Much harder, this really challenges your balance. It makes all the muscles of the size. You're using everything and you're stabilizing that body. That's why it's gonna have such great effects. And all the way up. Last one. Very good, and switch legs. Just in time, you needed that break, didn't you? Shake that leg out and then just switch to the other side. It's a lot to think about. You're using balance, which is another Component the balance, you're getting all the stabilizing muscles in both the legs. You'll be able to do this. Sounds a lot harder than it. Make those triceps really do the work. You can see it. Felicia's really working. You get tired, those elbows want to drop. If you've got to fight, keep it. Last one. Good. And again, shake that out. Shake this. The reverse lunge with a bicep curl. Good, that's a timing exercise, really requiring not only balance, but your timing. These are all things that are gonna not only improve your fitness, but improve your balance, improve your timing. Very nice, keep breathing, keep breathing. Four more. Three more. Let's go to the ground for our chest fly while you're lying on your back. Keep a nice bend in the knees. Really nice. High, keep those shoulders square on the mat. And the key to this is keeping that chin straight up towards the ceiling. Almost, we have a saying, put your chin on the ceiling. Don't roll the neck. Okay, I want these three more. Keep the chin straight up. Two more. Really Keep those knees nice and up really high. Continue to breathe. You can see she's working really hard right now. You're working hard really now. This is a tough exercise, but a great one for the abdomen. Five more. Four more. Key to this one is keeping the shoulders flat on the mat. Very nice. And Focus on your breathing. This is, again, that time when you really want to focus on how hard you worked and all the good things that are going on in your body. Hold this for five to 10 seconds. That's good, and switch over to the other side. Again, those shoulders are pressed against the mat. Nice deep breath. Reflecting on all those wonderful thoughts, how hard you worked, all those good things that are in seconds. Very good. Now let's just stretch out a little bit with a twisting lower back stretch. Most important parts of the stretch. Anytime you breathe and take in a really deep breath, it signals all your muscles to relax and helps you stretch further. Hold that five, 10 seconds. Again, take in that nice deep breath. Fill the lungs with air and a long, you should never feel pain. A little discomfort though is okay. As you're trying to push your body here. Stretch, 
Nice deep breath. Take in a nice deep breath. Fill the lungs up with a long, slow exhale. And your workout is done, and your workout is done. Really nice.